If you want to improve, then set goals. There are variables and controls. You must gather your data and then collate them. No, there is no way to measure our souls. There is a scene in Dead Poets Society where Robin Williams begins his poetry class by having his students open their textbooks to the introductory essay that describes measuring the greatness of poetry based on two parameters and then diagrams the greatness of poems on those mathematical axes. Robin Williams then has his students rip that essay out of their poetry books. All of them are shocked. The movie goes along and we see his burgeoning relationship with his students and his powerful influence upon them. And at the end of the movie, Robin Williams, of course, loses his position. And another poetry teacher comes and he begins the class by having the students open up to that essay and read about the greatness of measuring poetry based on two mathematical parameters. And the implication is that greatness is not a mathematically determined quality of something like poetry. There is great benefit in data, and there is great benefit in data in the world of education but I have great reservations about how much data has overwhelmed the goal-making process. And I feel very akin to Robin Williams students in Dead Poets Society when they are told, after they have learned better, that poetry's greatness is measured on mathematical axes. Every year, educators are required to set goals and they are required to measure their success toward those goals and then their success is counted in as part of their formal evaluation. Now I'm not going to rant about the inefficacy of educator evaluations in general although I strongly feel that until student critique of their teachers is part of that process, at least in high school, they're never going to be very accurate or effective. I just want to focus on goals and how they are and are not important in the very real world of goal setting in talent ed or some other such official parameter of goal setting that teachers are required to adhere to. I had a conversation with my trainee teacher about what exactly are we doing with these goals? And the short version of what I gave her is, this is part of the dance that you have to do. Figure out a way that makes sense to you and do it, but don't vest a lot of your effort in it. I feel very strongly that some of my most important goals as an educator are neither to be made public nor are they measurable. And that really flies in the face of the gather baseline data, measure interim progress, reach final destination and compare with the goal stated at the outset. I'll give you an example. One of my most important goals every year is to have students feel comfortable in my class. Now, do I give them a survey at the beginning of class asking them to rate their personal feelings on a scale of 1 to X and then have them repeat that exercise at the end so that I can gather data? No, I, I don't do that. I'm not a social scientist, and I'm sure there are ways to control that experiment to get valid data, but I need to teach my class. How can I measure whether students are comfortable? One of my main ways of gauging that is whether they know they can ask questions, whether they come to see me outside of class, 
whether they raise their hand and participate in discussions, whether they feel they can express a different opinion than their classmates. All of those things are very, very important. And I can see growth in their comfort level throughout the semester or the year. But gathering data to verify that flies in the face of treating my students as people, which is what makes them feel comfortable in my class, knowing that I am a human being treating them as human beings. That's just one example of where I feel that data gathering is insufficient and inaccurate to measure the success of my goal. Nor do I feel that that is necessarily the business of my evaluator. I feel that my relationships with my students are personal relationships. That's between me and them. And putting that down in a book for someone else to see denigrates the authenticity of the relationship I am trying to establish. So not all goals, in my experience, are data gatherable, quantifiable, smart with that famous goal setting acronym of being measurable and specific. And yet, we as educators are required to set goals. So then what do we do? You basically have two approaches if you accept my premise that many important goals do not fit under the umbrella of structured data, which is the prerequisite of all evaluatable goals. Those two options are write evaluatable goals that mean nothing to you just to get them done or figure out a way to take a goal that does have meaning for you and fit it into the structure of the structured goal setting formula. Obviously, I am a fan of option two. Whenever I can, I want to find a way to make what I am required to do significant, meaningful, and real to me. If I am just going through the motion to make the dance happen, then I'm not gaining from the experience and neither is anyone else. Now, there are many things where no one gains from it at all. But putting that aside for the moment, I would say find a way to tweak the goal so that you can use it, even if it's not what actually matters most to you. So for example, earlier I mentioned my having the students be comfortable in my class is a very important goal to me as an educator. However, it's not one that I see fitting easily under the data, the baseline, the growth curves, and so forth. However, I can make it very specific to group discussion participation counts. And oh my goodness, can I give you pie charts that are color-coded with student participation based on a variety of demographics. In other words, I can make the goal specific enough to a particular activity that will happen in the course of my class and just count the data on an introductory group discussion, an intermediate group discussion, and a culminating group discussion and present those data as the evidence of the growth of my students. But it irks me that my efficacy as an educator is evaluated based in large part on contrived facts. I do not think that numbers tell the real truth of what goes on in a classroom. And yet, we are told again and again that data-driven decisions 
are the valid decisions. And I certainly agree that data are important and that data do matter and that things teachers do are measurable. However, goal setting is something that is deeply personal and should be meaningful in order for it to have any merit or any real benefit. I see the goal setting process as being merely a construct of the great they having something to count and evaluate rather than the goal setting being a benefit to the educator herself. So since I believe that goals are both incredibly important and different from the structure that is given to me, here is what I do to measure my own success as an educator. I gauge my efficacy based on the feedback from the students who have been in my course throughout the entire year. I ask them at the end of the course to tell me in their own words, not did you feel comfortable in my class, but a very non-directed question such as what is a vivid memory you have of this class or how did I make you feel every day in this class? Or what is an assignment that you had a strong emotional connection with? Tell me about it. I value deeply the feedback I get from my students. I read and sometimes write down that feedback to reflect upon again and again. One of the most valuable bits of feedback I ever received was from a student in my second or third year of teaching comp who wrote on that teacher evaluation, I dreaded the day and hour I had to come to this class. I can't tell you what a gut punch that was to read. How horrible I felt when I realized for the first time how this student had experienced my class. And I promised myself I would never let that happen again as I had let it happen the first time. I don't know if I've prevented it entirely, but I have certainly gotten better at recognizing the warning signs of personality conflict and differences in sense of humor and I have learned to reach out to those students sooner rather than let them conform to me. Those are not things that I write in my formal goal setting process, but they are things that I keep track of in my own journals and in my own professional growth. Goals do matter to everyone and especially to educators and specific goals matter. And those SMART parameters are good structures to work with, but do not constrain either your aspirations or your goals to what can be effectively measured with data. Thanks.